In this video, I'm going to talk about an app within an innovation backlog solution called as innovation backlog app. Now there are two kinds of app. One is innovation backlog admin app and innovation backlog app. Innovation backlog app is mainly targeted towards end users. It's a canvas app. Now, what does this app does? It allows a user to post ideas or suggestions for building future apps or solution for your organization. So think about it like it's about empowering users to suggest some ideas or measures to uh, help improve productivity or reduce time or eliminate waste or maybe improvise the process or maybe uh, change the way things have been working currently uh, into some more innovative way which can help reduce time help reduce uh, cost uh, and eliminate all those waste within your organization now this app will help you get <coughs> complexity score for the ideas okay so you suggest an idea and then based on that ideas there are some set of questions being asked uh, those questions can be configured using an innovation backlog admin app now the link for idea will be referenced in the solution assessment app okay so once you have an idea then that idea needs to be given to a maker or anyone can pick that idea and say that hey based on this idea i'm proposing the solution and then uh, let's build an app let's build a flow let's build a report let's build a bot or let's surface it up using power pages so those all things can be uh, suggested using this particular app okay so let's go into the demo how to again navigate to the innovation backlog app is go into center of excellence innovation backlog solution navigate to objects navigate to apps and then go into innovation backlog app click here click on play and then this app will be visible now this app is how it looks like okay now this app is all configured using innovation backlog admin okay now remember in one of the video i have covered this add pain points and suggested measure for the admin app okay now, these all things will be visible in the innovation backlog. App. So think about it, like say this pain points is no offline availability and then unable to save data and loss of money as a suggested measure. Now in innovation backlog app, if you get an idea, okay, if you have an idea, you can click on add idea and then a form will be presented and then you fill those form and then you will be uh, you know, given some complexity scope, okay. Now on the left hand side, if you see here, idea, bring AI to COE, and then improve video experience, all these things are ideas presented by my uh, uh, employees, okay? Now, if you have an idea, what you can do is like, you can start clicking on add idea. Once you add an idea, it will ask you to put the uh, idea, okay? Uh, in so you, you need to describe the idea so if the idea is to uh, say maybe reduce billing life cycle if the billing life cycle is long then i need to reduce that how do you do that and then what there are some keyword which we need to search so billing reduction uh, Link efficiency so these are some of the keyword which will help you help an end user to search for it okay and you remember in the home screen there was a search box so if you put this keyword it will search as per this and then surface out this particular record now the description is to uh, reduce billing when through and lengthy process okay so if this is an idea being presented by an end user they will put in the name keyword description and what is a pain point pain point is there is a, it's a pen and paper form okay it's a time consuming manual work i can multi-select okay people it's error prone I click out now if you see this pain point these all things the list which you see over here is all configured using an admin app so Again, you can add your own pain point. You need not rely on what Microsoft provides to you. Okay, once you select the pain points of current process, you need to specify how many people are affected by it. So if you see this uh, uh, wizard-based approach, it will show you how many people are affected. So impacted team is, say maybe finance, sales, marketing, HR, 
number of impacted people, say maybe 36. Workflow participant, who will participate? So maybe consultant will participate in it. Finance, uh, executive will participate in it. And then sales, uh, lead will participate in it. Okay, so these are the people who will participate in it. But you just don't put it in a, uh, like a CSV form. What you need to do is like, you need to just type in consultant. I know it is not intuitive, but that's how I learned. Uh, you need to put workflow participant consultant and then click on add participant okay and then you say field worker and then you add participant and then you can say sales exec put a participant okay so this is how you put that and you can remove the uh, participant as well by clicking on remove now we have put idea we have put affected people let's move on to tools now in order to build the solution what tools you may need the tools means basically connectors okay now i may need office 365 outlook okay so if i click here this will be added over here i may need power bi click here i may need acumatica i don't know uh let's search for some tools so if i put search for adobe i will find adobe creative and adobe pdf maybe adobe acrobat okay i need all this thing so I'm good with this. These are the tools which I may need uh, for this particular for building this, or maybe I'll add Azure Log as well. And then let's move to measure ROI. ROI basically return on investment. So if you invest, say, time and effort, what are the value you're going to receive out of it? Now these are the suggested measures. You remember in the innovation backlog admin app, we added this measure: time, money, numeric, right? So this was one of the drop-down values. So if you see here, when you add a suggested measure, it has time, money, numeric text, okay? Now, from where it is coming, it is coming from here, see? So it is now categorized, time, money, numeric, okay? Now, let's say the suggested measure is, uh, say, time spent fixing error, so I'll add this, okay? Then you need to tell what is the time spent fixing error, okay? some time for fix whose time now these are the participant which you have added you know consultant i say like consultant and number of people performing task is three times spent per person is 40 hours uh and then that is per week okay and then track monetary value of time average wage of people performing is 40 dollars per hour okay and remember just don't click anywhere just you need to click save i know this ui is not intuitive so you click on save so what you have done is you have added a measure you have selected one measure you are under this measure you have filled this form and now you're saving it okay once you save it it will tell you the time spent fixing errors value similarly i can click on data loss if i click on data loss and then I'm in data loss section. Then I can put some description and I say who will be impacted. It's a field worker will be impacted. Amount per month is say maybe $4,000 4, and number of what? Say maybe forms. Okay. And then I save here. Now I'm done with this part. So I have put time spent for fixing errors, time spent data loss. Let me delete this uh, entry time spent uh, fixing hours. Because this time spent fixing hours is all about the dollar value and uh, time spent fixing hours this is all about hours per month and this is about data loss. Okay, Let me keep this value for time being. Let me click on next now. Now measure ROI is done. I will go to workflow. It will tell me do you have a workflow process map? I will say yes. If yes, select the file or link. If no, then choose a process mapping technology. Are you going to use Power Automate Process Advisor? Visio or inline here for quick workflow or maybe you can even create a new process map I'd say uh, I have a workflow process map and I won't select any link I click on next and then it will give me a complexity score okay how many people will use the solution is 36 if I want to make a change I can do that how many backends or data source are used five how many steps are you on a workflow say so maybe 32 Requires attachment, yes. Requires offline support, let's say yes. Will the solution be shared? No. Is data accessible to the user who created it? Yes. 
How often will the solution be used daily? How long could you tolerate the downtime? Four hour stops. Will lots of tables or list fields need to be added? A few tables. Okay, and that's how I fill the form. Now remember, all these things what you see over here are configurable. Okay. If you don't want that question within your organization, you can remove that from the backend. Okay. If you don't want this to be a drop down, if you just want to be a text box or a numeric, yes, you can do that. Now I'm done with putting an idea. I click on complete. Now, if everything goes fine, this will uh, be presented to you. So reduce billing life cycle. Okay. This is the idea which we have put. Now here, uh, let me refresh this innovation backlog app first. Let me show you just by going into innovation backlog app. This app has a bit of uh, errors listed. So that's why you see all those errors coming up. Now, my goal is to just show you the first idea which I have put reduce billing life cycle. Now here I can see the tools which I have selected, keywords which I have put, estimated return on investment, number of likes, status, developer owner and all those things. Okay. Now what I can do, I can email the voters. If I click on email voters, I can email the voters. Okay. And then I can uh, tell hello voters. I'm interested in this idea. Let's work together. Okay. And then I can send an email. Okay, let me cancel this out again i will email the creator if i want to contact the creator okay i'll say hello i'm interested in this idea you are listed as a creator for it okay i can do that so it's all about communicating to the end users communicating to the creators and then sharing this particular idea within a wider audience alternatively i can edit this as well okay and here you have a search box where uh, if you put a correct keyword, uh, then you will be able to see some value. So if I put say efficiency, I can see this reduced billing life cycle. Okay. Uh, and I also see building efficiency in leaf uh, because that has efficiency keyword. Okay. Now this does not have that particular in the text, but it is presented in the keyword. So that's why this idea is visible. And if I cross that out, then I will be able to see uh, the whole bunch of ideas which has been presented to the organization. So that's it folks. This is all about innovation backlog app. It will allow end users within your organization to suggest an idea or measures within your organization so that this idea can be picked in and then later on an app or a solution can be built so that to reduce um, uh, efficient to improve efficiency to reduce waste and you know uh, bring those productivity within your organization. So that's all about the innovation backlog components. Thanks for watching.